Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to answer if GSK is an excellent dividend stock to buy. Now this video was requested by one of my subscribers Neil Anderson. Thank you so much for making that request. So to answer this question I'm going to look at the dividend yield. I'm going to look at valuation among a couple of other metrics to determine if this stock is a buy. So let's get right into it starting with dividend yield which came in at 2.95% percent now compared with the 10-year government bond which is roughly at four percent here in the u.s this stock offers a little bit lower of a dividend yield but remember when you're investing in dividend stocks you also have the option or the potential for increases in the stock price which you don't have when you're investing in a bond what you see is what you get with the bond so the next metric i wanted to look at is Earnings per share in the trailing 12 months compared with the dividend per share for the trailing 12 months. And what I want to see is the company paying too much in dividends. Is it paying more in dividends than its earnings? And that does not look to be the case with this company. Its dividend per share is considerably lower than its earnings per share. And that's been a trend over the last five years where it typically pays less in dividends than it does in earnings per share. The next thing I wanted to look at is its cash flow from operations. And I noticed a big dip here in 2022-2023 down to 5.6 billion. But remember, this company made some significant divestitures. It got out of some businesses. So it's understandable that the cash flow from operations would be lower. Still, a 5 billion 5.6 billion cash flow from operations over the trailing 12 months is a healthy sum for this company. Now, I mentioned earlier that it divested away from some businesses and so you're getting a smaller business overall and that that's evident here when we look at its total assets. It had climbed all the way over 105 billion, closer to 110 billion, and that's fallen to around 75 billion as of late. Now, why is that important for investors? Well, that lowers the hurdle for the company to generate return on assets and net income because when it has fewer assets, investors don't require as much return, right? So Companies are judged on how they perform with the capital they have. How are they at managing money? How are they at taking the money that we as investors give them and turn that into profits? How good are they in that task, right? And so with fewer assets, that lowers the burden of generating profitability and generating a return on asset. And it also lowers the riskiness because it's a lower asset base to start from. And finally, I wanted to look at its forward price to earnings ratio as a measure of valuation. And it's trading at a forward PE of 8.9. It's near the lowest it has been in some time, although it has risen from the low of around 7.5. And overall, I like the lower the lower valuation here of this company. Sure, it's not going to grow earnings per share in very vast numbers, but the company does have a broad portfolio of medicines and uh, vaccines and all of that. It doesn't rely on one drug for the majority of its revenue and profitability. So it does provide you a diversified base of revenue and profit. So it is lower risk than perhaps another company that has a more concentrated base of where it generates its revenue and profitability from. And so with the lower valuation, healthy earnings, healthy dividends, healthy cash flow from operations, I would say this stock is an excellent dividend stock to buy. I would say this stock is a buy. Now, don't expect this stock to double every year, but it's a healthy growing stock here. You can expect healthy returns by investing in this stock for the long term. All right, but that's all I've got for this video. Once again, thank you for making the request. And if there's any stocks you would like me to cover, feel free to comment down below and let me know the ticker and the video you would like me to do. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.